When he was drowned completely, two things happened. The people may have doubted that this man is not dead because he used to call himself the Lord of the world. He's going to come back. Number one. Number two is the sea. Apparently, according to some narration, found him too dirty to be within that pure water. But the Pharaoh is in that water. Allah instructed the water to spit him out. فَالْيَوْمَ نُنَجِّيكَ بِبَدَنِكَ لِتَكُونَ لِمَنْ خَلْفَكَ آيَةٌ وَإِنَّ كَثِيرًا مِّنَ النَّاسِ عَنْ آيَاتِنَا لَغَافِلُونَ On this day, we have instructed that your body be preserved motionless so that you can be an example for those to follow because many people are definitely oblivious of our signs. That's what Allah says. So he was spat out of the sea. And his motionless body lay on the side. To this day, it is there. A man who called himself the Lord of the worlds. And you see the flaking of this brittle skin happening. Mummified. Ramses II or not is irrelevant. But Allah says... He's preserved because Allah wants every tyrant to know your day is coming. You might cause chaos on earth. You might threaten people. You might execute your threat, but it's limited. You also have to die. People say, I'll kill this guy. Hang on. After that, then what? Don't you have to die? Say, no, but you know what? If you pull the trigger, I tell you Allah's trigger is not even a trigger you can see. They say, the whip of a human can be heard. The whip of Allah doesn't even have a crack. It is silent, but it is absolutely violent. The rain you see out there comes down pitter patter. You look at it, you smile, you initially enjoy, you walk out, But if you are sitting there oblivious of Allah, oppressing, you ought be worried that this rain is not going to stop. And the same rain causes floods and a little while later, your wall comes crashing and sometime later, the wind begins to blow and your roof is off. And a little while later, your entire house is uprooted and you are standing there being beaten from tree to tree. As the trees are being uprooted as well and you are being pounded through the water and you are going straight into the oceans and you don't even know where and there's no sign of you because at the end of the day you're covered and you're actually gone invisible, totally lost in the mud and the slime and whatever else that followed after the disaster. Yet you were partying when initially the same rain that was going to destroy you started as a pitter patter. The punishment of Allah, when it comes, it comes. What's the message today? Please calm down. That's the message. Let's turn back to Allah. Don't let things get to your head. You are no bigger than anybody else. You are just one number. Respect people, honor them. Don't let your money and your power get to your head because that head is going to be the root of your destruction at some point. If you continue this way.